Hey there. Today, I'll be looking back at an atmospheric adventure game called Grease. Grease is a side-scrolling puzzle game that relies purely on music and symbolism to tell its story. There is no dialogue, no voice acting, no text at all. Without including spoilers, all I can say is that the game talks about the five stages of grief. I can safely say that the music in this game is probably one of the best I have ever heard in a video game to date. In the game it feels powerful and it evokes emotions from me. It did so all the way from beginning to end. Although at some parts what I was seeing and hearing at the same time got so much out of me that I had to pause for a moment. Grease is also one of the most beautiful games I have ever played. The art style, the presentation, just amazing in every way. The play with color is so well made here. The colors have their purpose and are put into their own themes. Each main color is used on puzzle elements in such a way that you can already tell from the color what you're supposed to do in that puzzle. Colors also convey feelings perfectly the way I think they are supposed to. The symbolism in this game is understandable and personally for me also relatable. Everything is made clear as you play. Puzzles themselves aren't difficult, but a few of them took me a little while to understand. Which was entirely my own fault. Whenever I finally figured those more difficult puzzles out, I was thinking to myself like, how did I not understand this? This was simple. The puzzles also flow well with the game's pacing in both ways. Both as in, the game progresses smoothly, there are no real stops, and the puzzles don't repeat a thousand times so none of them outstay their welcome. As far as I'm concerned, the game is perfectly paced, and I feel the puzzles are excellently crafted. Cutscenes are well animated, the art style, animation, sound effects and music go well hand in hand. I can't get enough of these cutscenes. I have watched each of them multiple times, over and over, from my own footage. I have also watched some of the intense encounters over and over again. They evoke the same feelings every time. One of the cutscenes gives me shivers every time I see it. The powerful feelings that this game evokes I don't think I have felt something like that since at least Xenoblade Chronicles or Bioshock 2 when it comes to games I have played. Just incredible. It's a fantastic game. It took me more than 5 hours to finish because I went out of my way to explore more than most people probably will. I looked at the environments and also the little creatures that were in that world. It was really interesting. I can't recommend this game enough. If you like these more calm puzzle games, then definitely put this into your list as soon as you can. On average, the game should be beatable in about 4 hours time. I personally will most likely play it through multiple times, because it's just such a good experience. I need to get it on the Switch, where it'll be even better. These were my thoughts on Greece. And as a result, I have added it to my list of best games of all time as the 10th entry. A fantastic atmospheric puzzle adventure game with sto story told through symbolism, colors and music. I leave you now to think about what you just saw in this video. Have a good day and I'll see you next time.